right now at 5.30, a man wanted for murder in Kentucky making his first court appearance in Miami-Dade. Behind bars after sending police on a chase that came to a crashing end Monday morning. And Local 10's Roy Ramos is joining us live right now from West Miami-Dade with more on what we've learned about this suspect, who he is and why he's here. Well, Christy, we've learned that he's been in this country for about a year and a half after moving here from Cuba. He had no license at the time that he got into this crash while he was running from police, and he now faces charges connected to that homicide that happened in Kentucky. 38-year-old Leobi Scotto Mena faced a Miami-Dade County judge Tuesday, a day after police said he led officers on a chase crashing into several cars before coming to a crashing stop in northwest Miami-Dade. So you are arrested for grand theft of a vehicle, fleeing and eluding a police officer, oh, and leaving the scene of a crash. Police said this red Chevy Camaro we saw turned on its side with the front windshield shattered was being pursued by police after officers received a tip from federal agents that Cato Mena, a man wanted for murder in Louisville, Kentucky, may be in the South Florida area. Louisville Metro Police say it was Monday when the victim of that murder was found dead in a home from clear signs of blunt force trauma. Hours later, that victim's red Chevy Camaro was spotted by police. He's driving a stolen car from Kentucky, and then he's fleeing from the police, and then he hit a car, collided with a civilian vehicle, causing injuries to the drivers. And then he collided with other multiple civilian vehicles. Surveillance video from a nearby business shows that car speeding as officers are seen giving chase right behind him. While multiple agencies attempted to stop the driver, Miami-Dade police said Cato Mena crashed into a car on Northwest 103rd Street before racing north on 27th Avenue. While five cars were struck, fortunately police say there were no serious injuries aside from Cato Mena, who had to be airlifted to the hospital. He now remains behind bars. And we did reach out to Louisville Metro Police who have identified the victim in that homicide as Elaine Garcia. We do know that that victim does have family here in South Florida. In fact, I've already reached out to them to find out what may have led up to his murder. We are still waiting to hear back. As far as the suspect, Cato Mena, he does remain behind bars and at some point will be transferred back to Louisville where he will likely be facing those murder charges. For now, here in Northwest Miami-Dade, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.